Okay, let's have a look at this question. That's our question 4.2. Question 4.2. There you're given a sequence. Okay. What type of sequence is that? Guys, that's the first thing you do is you recognize what type of sequence. They didn't give it to you. You try and figure it out. Okay. What type of sequence? Sorry? Ar arithmetic. Arithmetic. Why? Constant difference. Now, constant difference just means I take equal jumps. I add the same thing or subtract the same thing every time. I'm adding one. I'm adding one. I'm adding one all the way up to 2,000. Okay? So, they say calculate the sum of the sequence. Okay, let's just quickly stop there. Calculate the sum of the sequence. Cool. How, uh, sum, what do I use? The SN formulas. Okay, which one? The arithmetic one. In other words, I'm going to take SN. And then, or, or let's call it SN N with a little A at the top or somewhere, just to say the arithmetic one. Okay, and then what are we gonna what are we gonna do then? If the powers of two are removed, what uh, operation in maths do we use for removing stuff? Subtraction. That's that's removing. In other words, I'm gonna remove remove what? Powers of two. Let's just see what does the powers of two look like. Okay, we said what is the powers of two again? Two to the power of no, not two to the power. That's the, that's the one mistake. The, the one person that got it right, that's the one mistake he made. Okay? He, he started with two to the power of one. You start with two to the power of? Zero. Two to the power of zero is? One. Then, two to the power of, two, uh, of one is? Two. Two to the power of uh, two is? Four. 2 to the power of 4 is? Ah, uh, 3 is? 8. So here it goes. What type of a sequence is that? Geometry. Geometry. How do we know? Well, take 2 divided by 1 is? 2. 4 divided by 2 is? 2. 8 divided by 4 is? 2. It's a geometric sequence. In other words, subtract a geometric sequence from it. Okay, so let's go let's go substitute in here. Okay. Yeah, let's quickly take the sum. Sorry, are we gonna substitute into the sum? How many terms that this formula is n over two times two a plus n minus 1 times d. That's now the formula for this Sn. Okay, shall we do him first? Let's do it separately and then we'll subtract the answers. Okay, how many terms? That's what n is, isn't it? n represents how many terms there are. How many terms are there in the original sequence? 2,000. So n is 2,000. Sorry guys, there's another formula. Do you remember the other formula? A plus L. What is that? That's what this inside is equal to. The first term plus the last term. That's A plus L. Okay. So, um, I take 2,000 divided by 2. Do I know what the first term is? 1. Do I know what the last term is? Yes, 2,000. So I don't have to use the complicated formula. I can use the simple one. A plus L. And there's my formula. 2,000 divided by 2 is 1,000. 1,000 times 2,001 is 2,001 million. Two million and one thousand. sorry. So that is the total. That's what you get if you add up the first two 2,000 terms. Yes, Mr. Daly? Why is n 2000? Why is n 2000? Okay. So here we go. If if I go, if I start by 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six. Do you see the number of the term and the number and the term itself is the same value. So T n is equal to n. Do you see that? Okay. So the term and the term number is the same thing. So if the term number is two thousand. It means the number of terms is 2,000. Okay, so there we go. You get that? Okay, so that's the total. Now, from that answer, that is now the sum of the sequence. From it, we're going to remove the powers of 2. Now, we must just figure out how many powers of 2 was there. Were there? So, here we go. Here's the formula. The geometric part, um, Sn, is equal to, uh, what is that formula? A1 minus R N over 1 minus R. Could have swapped the 1 and the R around on, on top and bottom. Just quickly see, what do we get? Okay. What is the first term for this sequence? What is the first term for this sequence? 1. Okay, so A is equal to 1. 1 minus, what is the constant ratio R? 2. R is 2. How many powers, how many terms are there going to be in this sequence in total? How will I know when to stop? Okay, a thousand terms. So. We're going to have to work it out, guys. We're going to have to count. Okay. So far, we've got one, two, three, four. Is there eleven? We're going to test it. Okay. We're going to test it. Okay. We've got four, and we were up to eight. Okay. So let's just go on. Somewhere on your rough work, just somewhere work work it out. So we're on four. So five would be sixteen. Six would be thirty-two. 7 would be 64. Now you think it's going to take a long time, but guys, this thing is doubling every time. Okay, it's going to get to 2000 very quickly. Okay, 7. 8 is 128. 9 is 256. 10 is 512. Okay, I'm going into my writing space. 10. 11 is 1024. 12 is 2048. Oop, he's too big. He won't be subtracted because he's not part of the original sequence. Okay, so how many terms did we have? 11 terms. Okay, good. So that means here we're going to have 2 to the power of 11 divided by 1 minus 2. So now we have 1 minus uh, 1 minus 2 to the power 11 over 1 minus 2 is just minus 1. Okay? So in the top, we now said we get 2048. So we get minus 2047 divided by negative 1. So the total is 2047. That is what I'll get if I add up all of the terms, the, all of the powers of 2 that's less than 2000. If I add up all of the numbers less than 2000, I got that. But I want to subtract these two answers from each other now. So here we go. The answer that I was looking for Sn is therefore just equal to 2,000, 2,001,000 minus 2,047. And what did we get the answer? 1,000,000. Uh, nine, five, three. Is that it? Okay, that was a difficult one too. Or was it? 
Yeah. No way, it wasn't difficult. What was difficult? How were you supposed to know you need to How are you supposed to know you have to minus? The two sums of... Okay, let's quickly look at that again. Because that, that, that's a lovely question. Okay, how will I, were I supposed to know that I had to subtract the two sums? Okay, well they tell me in the question. They say calculate the sum which means I'm going to have to add everything together if something else is removed which means I'm going to have to subtract something else so what am I supposed to add and what am I supposed to subtract and so the application for that whole sum was very difficult the way the that thing they should have written S N A Y yeah. oh, oh, I mean, you know. how I get it you want to be spoon fed <laughs> no, no we <laughs> want to be spoon fed <laughs> You need to think first, I understand. Yeah. We don't want to think Guys, I'm sorry, this is my conviction that people don't want to think. They just don't want to they want to they want to be spoon fed. How are you supposed to know what is the powers of two? Very good question. He is asking, guys, listen quickly. He's asking, how am I supposed to know what is the powers of two? Do anyone have an answer for him? <laughs> what is the powers of two? Guys, it's, it's, it, it, I almost want to say it's primary school stuff. Okay, so I'm not saying you're stupid or anything. I'm saying you guys don't value how important your primary school work is. Adding fractions. If you don't know how to add fractions, you cannot pass a uh, trick. The thing that they the Okay, but even if you understood it as the factors of two, you would have still gotten most of the marks. Okay? But if you subtracted the but, but the question asks you to subtract the powers of two. So you have to know what is a power and what is a factor. There's a difference. Okay? Powers are exponents, factors are multiples. So a factor is when I multiply something by not by itself, but I, I multiply I, <coughs> no, sorry, I lie. A factor is when I add another one. Two plus two is four, plus two is uh, uh, six. Plus 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, okay? You see, factors I add, but I call it multiples of 2, because I'm, I'm adding multiple 2s, okay? Powers is when I multiply, and I call it powers because I can represent this by an exponent. I can rep represent this as 2 to the power of n. Minus 1. You see? So the first term, when that is 1, I get 2 to the power of 0, which is 1. That's why I call it the powers of 2. Because I get the sequence by changing its exponent, its power. So you know what? If you were there to explain the question, you would have I know. Yeah. I know. So <laughs> again, again, you again, again, you're saying you say the same thing I said in the beginning. If I was there feeding you, you would have been full. <laughs> Is it? Okay, so now you're still hungry.